Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys my day one Forbidden Rite Hierophant Totem progress. So we've got level 18 gems rocking Forbidden Rite, Spell Totem, Multi Totem Control Destruction. Uh, I also want to note something very important for Forbidden Rite is Rain of Splinters. If you're playing a totem build, it adds to the minimum projectiles. So you're getting four uh, when you're fighting a boss, which is really nice. I swapped from Stormburst at 55 uh, after Cruel Lab plus Rain of Splinters. Uh, I do not have any totem clusters yet. Totem clusters would be a massive quality of life and just overall damage increase. I don't even have an anoint yet, so anointing Ironwood is going to be pretty big as well. So with that being said, let me just go ahead and jump right into a map real fast to show you guys how the character kind of works. It's not the fastest map clear, but I, you know that's to be expected, I think, when you play totem builds. But I feel like the bossing potential of this character uh, is where it's really going to pick up. Now, I do want to state as well, my character is like super scuffed, right? I don't really have defensive layers. My links are not set up properly. Um, there's just a lot of things that's like incomplete with this character right now. It's, you know, day one league launch, so. Also, I was not using multi-totem for a long time on my main link because I thought it was better to keep it with just like single casting and then using like a wither totem. Uh, as multi-totem and I switched over to multi-totem and my god the quality of life and everything just feels so much better I was very much incorrect about that uh, Which is not bad though because that essentially means uh, Our wither totem or our wither will put infused channeling on so that way with infused channeling when we're fighting a boss withering We'll get like the chaos damage increase infusion and I think that should work for the totem which is a pretty nice I decided to go with Apep's Rage as uh, weapon choices since they were just a few chaos and they were massively better than anything I had. Uh, the flat chaos is pretty good. The cast speed is really good. The, the cast speed you have to be careful with though because if you scale too much cast speed without your totem clusters, you might not like the playstyle, but I think that this skill needs like quite a bit of cast speed, especially if you want it to feel good in maps. I think that's kind of something as a totem build you always have to combat. Uh, you have to take into account that like your totem is going to have a delay, so you want to speed up that delay as much as possible. I also cannot wait to get more, what are they called, enkindling orbs, I think. None of my flasks are set up properly yet. I'm trying to get the orbs to, uh, to get them to work properly. Since I don't have Skyforth, I need Stun Immune, I need Shock Immune. I'm thinking of getting a Dream Fragments just to cover my Freeze Immunity, just to make it not so bad to progress. Because I've had, I've had sadly, quite a few deaths to uh, just like a white mob freezing me, and I'm just like, okay. And I'm just stuck from there, and then I'll like cleanse the freeze, and then just get refrozen after one second. So, that is definitely something we're going to have to combat. This is where the boss is, right? Alright, what do we have here? Monsters take reduced damage. I mean, that's fine to me. Monsters hit can shock. I don't really like that. But that gets those. That gets that. Um... Fire pen? Eh, I can deal with it, I think. Okay, pop this. All damage from hits can shock. No thanks. Alright. Uh, oh, that is very bad. I'm frozen. Now, um, in my links, I'm sure you guys will notice that I'm not using Void Manipulation. 
And the only reason I'm not using Void Manip is my Arcane Cloak gives me a pretty decent chunk of lightning damage. And I play with my buddy, uh, a support who also is giving me Smite, which adds to my lightning. So I do think I'm going to end up transitioning to crit because I think with the change to ailments, I'll be able to get some meaty shocks on bosses, uh, even as like a pure chaos build, solely from like Smite buff and Arcane Cloak, then scaling crit multi. So I'm pretty excited for that. Anyway, that's that's pretty much the character. Uh, it's It's been pretty fun so far, just to kind of cover everything that I have done. Uh, I picked up a clear mind just for the sake of leveling right now. I don't know if it's better than running Clarity Vitality, right? Uh, I'm not running Clarity Vitality because my support runs it, but in the end, you are going to want to run Clarity because of Watcher's Eye. So this is pretty cheap. It's a really big increase to spell damage, so definitely something worth checking out. For players who have trouble with mana, don't forget that flat mana is better than percent mana with most mana builds because we get so much percent increase. So Battle Roost is a very big spot for mana because of the 15 flat and then the 25 flat while still giving the percentage increase. Uh, also, if you're having issues with mana, don't forget Dreamer. Reducing mana cost is not bad at all, uh, especially because we're not Archmage. And then a Healthy Mind here gives a ton. So if you look, I have... Uh, 4574 from the 4574 if I turn this off it goes to 3673 so it is a quite a big chunk of mana gained all right anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys had a wonderful time hope you guys are having an okay league start and I'll catch you guys all later take care everybody